In this video, we're going to take a look at solving a proportion which has a binomial or more than one term in it. If there is more than one term in either the numerator or denominator of one of our ratios in the proportion, we have to remember to use parentheses to hold that binomial together when we're calculating the cross product. So for example, if I had a problem like x minus 5 over 4 is equal to 3 over 8, as we calculate the cross product, we're going to remember to put that x minus 5, that binomial, in parentheses. That way, when we multiply the diagonal, we get 8 times, in parentheses, x minus 5, and the other diagonal, 4 times 3 is 12, and we know those will be equal. This gives us an equation we can solve to find x with just a few more steps than we had with a regular proportion. We know we can start solving by distributing through the parentheses to get 8x minus 40 equals 12. Then we have to add 40 to both sides. That gives us 8x equals 52. And then finally, to get x alone, we divide both sides by 8 to get our final answer for x, and dividing 52 by 8, we get 6.5. Let's try another example where we work through these exact same steps, remembering that if there's more than one thing in that numerator or denominator, we need to put it in parentheses as we calculate the cross product. In this problem, there are a couple binomials we need to be aware of. There's a 5 minus x in the numerator of the second fraction, and an x plus 1 in the denominator of the second fraction. Keeping those in parentheses as we calculate the cross product, the first diagonal, we get 9 times the x plus 1 in parentheses, showing that we're going to multiply the entire denominator, and the other diagonal, we get 2 times 5 minus x in parentheses, and we know those cross products must be equal. If we balance through the equal sign, we can then solve this resulting equation. We know it's important to simplify first, so we're going to distribute on both sides, giving us 9x plus 9 is equal to 10 minus 2x. To keep solving, we need to get the variable all on one side before we start moving any numbers. And to do that, we'll get rid of the negative 2x by adding 2x to both sides, because negative 2x is the smaller one. This gives us 11x plus 9 equals 10. And now we can start moving away from the x by subtracting 9 from both sides. 11x equals 1 and then finally dividing both sides by 11 to get x is 1 over 11, or if we want a decimal, we can round it to 0 0.0909. So when calculating these proportions with binomials or more than one term, more than one part in either the numerator or denominator, the pattern is still exactly the same. Multiply the cross product, we just must remember the parentheses around those binomials.